Hello, I'm Freda. I'm Betsy. And, and we, we are, are the pupil, pupil chaplains, chaplains of St John Fisher. This, le- this week's Wednesday word is guidance. On Sunday, the church celebrated the feast day of the Epiphany. We remembered how the wise men were were the were the, were from the east. We remembered how the wise men from the east were guided to Jesus. Jesus was born in Bethlehem when Herod was king. Wise men came from the from the east of Jerusalem and said, "Where where is this child? Where is this child born to be the king of the Jews?" We saw we saw his star in the sky and have and have come to worship him. King Herod was very worried. He called together all the priests and teachers and and asked them and asked them where the Christ was to be born. In the town of Bethlehem in Judah, they said. So Herod sent the wise men to Bethlehem and said, When you have found the child, let me know. So that so that the place where where the child Jesus, so that that I may too go and worship him. So they set off, and the star went went before them and stopped over the place where the child Jesus was. So the wise men knelt down and worshipped Jesus. They opened their treasure and offered gifts: gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then God warns them in a dream not to go back to Herod. So they returned home another way. In school, we talked about the word guidance. Guidance meant men and guidance men and guided who who the who the wise men to Jesus were. We are we also thought about who who or what guide, guides us through life to make sensible choices to make sensible choices. The church exists to help to help us and provides us with 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 the timeless guidance guidance of the Bible. This is a manual this is a manual for for life which can guide us on our journey. As we journey through our lives to God, we need we need good guidance to help us along the way. We also discuss some of the ways in which Jesus guides us today. We think it's we think it's through listening to God and wise people, learning church te- teaching, bringing being open to correction, considering what effect our words and actions might have on ourselves and others, reading the gospels together, going to church and listening carefully and praying to Jesus for guidance. Pope Francis once said, once said, may Christ's love guide us through our steps. Dear Lord, dear Lord Jesus, thank you for, gu- for your guidance, for being there to guide our family on, on our journey together through life. Amen. Thank you for listening.